My name is Ophélie Legard Tuzignan. This summer, my Young Scientist program project was communicating science via TikTok with my mentor, Aubrey Durko. So Aubrey is from Cyworthy, which is a science communication platform that focuses on making specific research easy to understand for the public. Essentially, they summarize research articles into 700 word articles on their websites that are easier to understand. I was really happy to take part in this project because to me, effective science communication is crucial. It helps people make informed decisions and better understand the world around them. I actually wrote an article for Sarworthy. It's about a scientific paper that delves into using spinal electrodes to help stroke patients walk better. So before diving into creating my own videos, I completed a review of the existing literature on video PsyCon on social media. So my research focused on two main areas, which were strategies for effective video science communication and factors that affect video popularity. So based on this, I concluded that to create engaging TikToks video, I should really have strong storytelling to highlight to viewers the relevance of my content and also focus on dynamic contents, narrative formats, and animation to transfer knowledge effectively. Um, personalization and interaction, like addressing the audience directly, are also key to building engagement. So once the literature review was done, I started experimenting with short-form TikTok videos. I implemented the strategies from my review mentioned above and also a few other more specific ones. So for instance, I aimed for regular updates, trying to upload a few times a week as best as I could. I tried different formats and I kept them all under one minute and I directly addressed the audience by using you in the first sentence of many TikToks. I really had fun and I tried to be as creative as possible. I plan to continue helping Sourly grow on its TikTok and Instagram presence while experimenting with new formats. I'm really grateful for this opportunity and mentorship because working with Aubrey really has been amazing. Before I go, I've selected a few videos published on the Cyworthy TikTok and Instagram account for you to watch. Let's go gambling! Aw, oh, dang it! Aw, oh, dang it! Did you know wearables could help detect depression? Depression affects 280 million people and can cut life expectancy by 28 years. Traditional detection methods are slow and unreliable. But what if your smartwatch could help? Researchers are using AI-powered wearables to track heart rate, sleep patterns, and activity levels. They found devices like Fitbit, ActiWatch, can analyze these data to predict depression early. A study from Keter reviewed 54 research papers that showed wearables correctly identified depression in 7 out of 10 cases. While not ready for clinical use yet, scientists suggest wearable AI has potential for early intervention and better mental health care. Subscribe to SciWorthy for more breakdowns that make scientific research accessible. Is global warming affecting baseball home runs? Did you know global warming might be playing a role in the number of home runs in Major League Baseball? Researchers at Dartmouth analyzed over 240,000 baseballs hit between 1,962 and 2019. They found that warmer air, which is less dense, helps the ball travel further. As temperatures rise, so do the number of home runs. Since 2010, nearly 60 extra home runs per year could be linked to global warming, and by 2050, that number could jump to 200 more home runs annually.